Well, howdy folks, I called me 247 here, part 12 of this Rome Total War Greek campaign, live on Twitch TV. Thank you all for those of you watching right now on the Twitch thing, and thank you if you're watching on YouTube. I love you guys. Let's start the part right now. Uh, we're gonna actually start the part uh, just quickly here. I redefended, defended again, Athena from the Macedonians. They're gone for a bit, so we're good. Uh, we have a fight to do here against the Romans on the island. I can see the island because I got Watchtower and I have a spy. So, I'm gonna need to regroup, retrain, and try to get an army all together and take back Panormus and take Messana. Messana is pretty big, I have to say, and I'd like to make money with this place. Once we've done that, right now the Carthaginian is, Carthaginian is quiet. He's not sending anything. Which is good for us. We can keep Lilibum. Um, I might... There's a couple of things. I'm going to take the island. First. Once I've taken the island. We're going to... We're going to work on... Or the south of Italy. Here. With a, there's a bunch of big cities. We're going to work on that. But if I start doing this. The Romans will attack. All the time. Or we, we will take Carthage. It's possible that I go ahead and take Carthage. Um, I think it's a better option. Now I need to send diplomats all over the place so we can get trade deals. I need, to, I need to trade with a lot more people. I'm not trading with the Romans, so there's no point going the other side. We'll go this way. Yes, it is possible. Just walk it. Alright. Excellent. Get a horse or something. You know. But I'm going the other way around Crimea. And then we'll go around and then go south. And then get all the factions here. If I could right now, I'm thinking about it. I have a boat. I have a diplomat here. Yeah, get, get your boat here. You get your ass in the boat. And I will go disembark on the other side. And then maybe get a... If I can, get a deal with the Egyptians. They have a lot of money. So we'll get a deal with the Egyptians if they're still here. And then work all around this place. I don't have a lot of factions there. Uh, there's a lot of barbarian factions we also have to contact. So I might be training another uh, diplomat. And then try to you know get my trades going. Um, excellent. Let's go for next turn right now and keep an eye on the situation we have here on the island. We need to take the army out of Lilibum. That's one thing I have to do. I have to take the army out of Lilibum and then be ready to fight the Romans. Right now, we're making money. We got a lot more going on. I need to build farms. I need to grow some cities. Um, this is one of the main problems I have right now. I don't have any enough cash to do all of it. Um, recruitment. We don't have enough troops here. We can retrain troops here. Construction. We get the roads going on. So that's fine. Little bum. We need to... I need to build stuff. Uh, do I need to retrain more units right now? No, not really. I'll be doing that. I cannot remove the temple. I thought about it. Yeah, we can do it now. And we'll get a uh, shrine to Athena. Yes. We'll get that. So I have to wait a couple of turns here. And I need to recruit another unit. Uplights. Here we go. I don't do militia uplights. They're the same price. So I'm going to do uplights. Um... So that's good. We're going to keep an eye on this army. If they are coming out, let's have a look. It's probably all the same stuff as always. He always sends the same things. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on this army. Maybe get an extra unit here also. Make sure we can defend. My goal is to take out this army here and move to Panormus. This is what I'd like to do. So, And we're going to need a general to do that. So the general is going to stay here, as this one here, Mr. Nicanor of Sparta. Uh, we'll take this guy, 
and then we'll move him with the army. We'll go to Panormus. The thing is, I have to keep an eye on this army. So there's just a, just a lot of things. Everything's been retrained here. We're retraining everybody here. Um, if I could honestly move out right now, I would. I simply cannot. Cannot move out. Okay, they're sieging it. We will move the army out and fight them. Go away. Defeat. Okay. So we need to we need to push the army that's in Lilibum. And I need to take out my army out of Lilibum and then go to Agrigentum to help. Well look at the rest. Nothing's moving around. We got a beautiful twenty four hundred. We're gonna disembark. Yes, that's what is that? Seducids? I shall speak with them at once. Let's get the trade rights with those guys. That's generous and fair, I understand that. Um, let's see what's around here. The thing is, it's not all seducids, I know that. So I'll be moving around to have a look. So that's going to be the work of this guy. This other guy up north uh, already moved, right? Yeah, move here. Excellent. Are we going to spend our 2500 Right now, people are not happy here, but like I said, I'm gonna move the army out. All of it. We'll go beat this army right now. So that's one taken care of. You guys have seen... We'll start the farm right away. You guys have seen that right now... Oh, we got rose here. Good. Okay. You guys have seen that he's sending his other army to Agrigentum, and if you look at the colored arrows... I don't think he's making it next turn because he's just going around. That's the army we need to beat. That's the big one. We need to beat this army. This one's going to be pretty easy. It's, it's quite small, I gotta say. And I have the army. So, I'll take this out right now. And then we're going to do a fight. Of course, this, the town is not happy. They all turn red, but it's fine. It's because we're moving out. So let's do this on the battle map. We'll take the we'll take the troops out of town. Attack the KPI there, and then see how many units I have to keep in town to keep it happy. I think I'm gonna have to. Um, I think I'm gonna have to keep a lot, actually, of units in there. But we'll see. Let's let's start with this fight. Wipe out this little force. Is, is he gonna move? Is he gonna move out really quick? Probably not. Moving. Spartan hoplites. Hoplites of Sparta. Send information. Men of Sparta. Orders completed, Commander. Move. Why I can't move my bows here? What the hell? Alright, I'm sending everything out. I don't I don't think he will be running by the way. He's just setting up there. That's all. So we'll just take the uplights. Move my uplights. And then face this guy. So we'll go in there. Come on. Oh, he's moving back in. No, he's turning around. What is he doing? But the units are moving out, so that's good. I will take my archers. And oh, we got space, we can set this up behind now. There we go. I will take the skirmishers. All the peltists. We'll have them on this side. On the run. 
So everybody is rushing through that small gate. Run! Because I don't mind fight. I, I don't actually mind fighting outside. The thing is, he had no chance. He really had no chance. He couldn't get in. That's almost impossible. Uh, he's got no rams, so that's why he's not gonna come over and try to hit the wall. Uh, I thought I saw a ballista in this army. No, see, he had nothing to, you know, attack the town. So in this case, when you attack outside, if he's got no, you know, no machines, he's not gonna try to move in. Uh, why do I have a unit on the side here? Uh, does it really matter? No. As long as he doesn't charge it. I haven't moved my uh, onager or heavy onager. Uh, the reason is is because the door is jammed right now. <laughs> it's got to move through the door. Well, almost there. Almost. Come on. Everybody's jammed in the door. <laughs> it's more get, getting your forces out of town. It's more a problem than the battle itself because the battle is not going to be difficult. Then I, I have to try to, to keep this army from taking too many injuries as much as possible everybody's running and the door is finally open we'll push the onager outside It can't move out. <laughs> because it doesn't probably pass in the gate or something. So let's go right there. Just finishing. My phalanx are almost in position. And then we're going to start. Yeah, by the way, I am reading the chat. Here we go. We're done. Everybody moves out. Moved out. There's two. I still have two units. Come on. So do I have guys stuck in there? No. Forward. What? They couldn't get in position? Yeah. Move. Okay, this unit just doesn't want to get in position. Let's move it right here. Um, I'm going to put everything in phalanx. And then advance about here. Move my archers behind. I'll give up my archers because I'm uh since we got two can of different archers. And this is what I one thing I really like about grouping stuff is I cannot really move the put the units where I want. So I I ungroup them and that's all at the end of it now, so it's a bit easier. And now I can really place them where I want. Alright, so let's advance. We're gonna start shooting, definitely. So let's get things going here. With maybe the skirmishers. Why is he moving back? I think he's just scared. 
know what? I'm coming. He just actually moved out of range of my archers. That's what he did. And I might put the archers on fast forward. Just hold on. Come on. As soon as those guys pass their position, I'm gonna have them run. Too fast. Stop. There we go, we start killing Romans. I'm not in guard mod by the way, you've seen that. Uh, those are some brave Romans, I gotta say. Turn that on the side, we'll attack. Those guys are not busy, let's move here. They're not in phalanx. That's another thing. My Spartans are not in phalanx right now. We broke one unit. Then my archers are taking care of whatever's at the back, so it's fine. And my Spartans are doing good work, so we're good. Another unit broke. If I had cavalry right now, Dude, this, that's the reason why I need a general. We broke this unit. We broke them all. I'm going to send this line running. This line will hold here. And we're shooting them in the back right now. So I guess they will be pushed back a bit. But again, we don't have troops to catch up with them. Maybe the, maybe the skirmishers are faster. But they're already far in the field. Let's try that. Let's try that. If we can catch up with some of them. I might be able to get this unit here. I was looking, really looking forward to get the general. That's th my plan was to get the general, by the way. But he didn't make it to the fight. He did not charge or do anything. He's just going away. That's the Romans for you guys. All right, let's put that on fast forward. I doubt this the skirmishers are faster, but let's try it. They are a bit faster. Yep. So those would be actually good unit if I wanted to uh, run after. If I wanted to run after the enemy. Run. They're alt. That's why I can't run after them. We will end the battle. We killed 500 of them though, so that's alright, that's alright. This is good, this is good, so his army is gone. Definitely, it's probably not coming back right away. No, it went Panormus, so it moved back to Panormus. There's more troops inside now, that's where it went. Ran back to Panormus, that's what's left. So, no panic, now we're gonna have to go stop this army. And then after that, we need to hit them. And we need to hit them hard. Because they're going to come back. And keep coming back all the time. Um, I will leave two units. 
of those guys right here. I'm gonna try to make it there. They will break Lilibum, that's one of the problem. Yeah, the taxes are on low. Lilibum will be all broken down when we come back. There's nothing else I can do about it though. I need to stop this army. So this is done. Uh, let's go for next turn. Let's do it right now. Okay, sieging Syracuse with three units. That's just what he did. Maybe it's four units. But I'd be surprised. I think that's three units. I don't really have to care about that. Oh, I can just move out of Syracuse. He broke the market. Let's go do the fight right now. He's got over 2,000 men. And we're facing... Archers... Slinger, uh, slingers, three REI. There's a lot of three REI on this one. He's got three f units. The rest will be easy to beat. All right, let's go. Let's do this on the battle map. The computer is controlling my other army inside the town, by the way, uh, because I cannot control all the units. That's why. So the computer is gonna control it. But that's but that's good. That's good. I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna complain. We'll be able to protect right now. And then after that, the biggest army is in Panormus. Oh, I hate fighting in the woods. Man, I hate fighting in the woods. God damn it. I'm attacking. And this is all, of, all, all over the damn place. I hate fighting in the woods, guys. And I'm not talking about, you know killing zombies or hunting stuff. I'm talking about the Romans in the woods. That's cr that is just crap. That's one thing I really, really hate. Is Romans fighting in the woods. I pretty much do not like any of the forest battle in the Rome Total War. Mainly because you cannot see through any of the trees. And that's, that's one of the big problem. I know, that's the archers, sorry. Let's go in behind. A lot of you guys set up your archers in front. I don't do that. I just keep them at the back. Because by the time you move them from the back, from the front to the back, right? They don't shoot. So you might as well just keep them at the back. Uh, we'll group them. We'll remove uh, skirmish. So they don't run. Did I forget anything? Yeah. This this beautiful onager that I cannot really use because I'm in the wood. Watch this. I cannot deploy it. Put it here. Start battle. Reinforcements have arrived, but are they in time to take part in the battle? They are. They are. Relax. So let's see where they're gonna move before I do anything else. I thought about climbing on the hill. I'm thinking about it now. So am I climbing on the hill, yes or not? He's got a he's got a nice position. Like this this is fine. When you do a forest battle, this is this is fine. The computer Coming from the city is coming on my side right there. He's there. But we're gonna have to advance. There's no choice. We'll advance in front of him right here. I will climb this and I will run. Because my army was all hidden down there, he couldn't see it. Let's get out. So yes, I'm sending uh, I'm sending my peltist on the other side. Can I move my catapult here? Is it gonna move through the woods? No, see it's not moving. Because of the forest. So you cannot move an onager or every onager through a forest. 
So right now, this onager will stay down there and will not be used. Here we go. So we started. We started shooting arrows. We're gonna make some kills. I'm gonna wait for my reinforcement army that's right here to climb this side of the hill. And then we will advance. Let's fight and solid this. So we're kind of we're kind of killing his archers and uh, and skirmishers. Now I don't really honestly I don't want him to move. I want him to stay where he, where he is. So that's fine. He's moving out of range. We'll bring the Peltist on this side and we'll try to do some damage. Why am I resetting my bowmen? Because I'm gonna do the same thing you just saw in the other fight. I will stop my bowmen when they're in range. He's moving backward. We'll shoot those guys. Roman archers. They're running all over the place. What's my army doing? He's charging it. But he still charged cavalry into pikes though. We just we just carried one unit. I am moving. Right here. We'll climb the camera shows on top of the hill, and then I'm gonna look at the force here. What's happening? The enemy general flees. Press forward so that the spirit good. of his army is a broken tool. He's sending a couple units on this side. That's a bit stupid of him. He should have stayed regrouped on top of the hill. Moving the archers, let's not forget about those guys. The Peltist. We're being we're being shot at, but he doesn't have much. Millions of javelins going in this unit. He's not moving the unit, that's weird. Not charging, I'm coming. You go. And then we we have the reinforcement coming up the hill because they won their fight. There's a little bit of a fight here, but that's okay. It's all surrounded. That's 3 REI, by the way. Has been slain. Now we will see uh, what? In the face of this calamity. God damn it. That is just stupid. That is just stupid. He actually sacrifices freaking general. God damn it, I needed this guy. Now he's dead. That is dumb. We'll 
We'll try to hit the general. Alright, we get this pirate. That's all done here, that's breaking. And the general is getting shot right now, I don't know from which unit. I'll move my archers in. You get no ammo. Those guys will charge. The ballista at the back. I'm shooting his general. I'm kidding people, so that's fine. Send the Spartans. The enemy general flees. Press forward so that the spirit of his army is a broken tool. He broke a bunch of unit here at the back. There's. The thing is, there's two of them, the three Arii are still holding. So I'm gonna have to send some of my own units to get rid of them. He's got cavalry here that's still holding. Let's take them. A bit of a messy fight. The, the only thing, there's one thing I'm really not happy about. It's that stupid general dying. I cannot believe that happened. Now I lost one of my leader. I will not be able to take this leader and join it to this army. So we're going to have to take the one in Syracuse. And he's not that good. His general is coming back. The enemy general, the enemy general died. All right. men fear us. It is time to press the attack. So is there anything left that's holding right now? Not in front of me. In front of me I good. I I'm really good. Is anything else anything else in the wood here? Yep. He's got he's got a unit that's holding. God. What am I gonna do about this? I'll send the skirmishers. One of the units still has ammo. There's one unit that's coming back there. That's a ballista. Is that a ballista? Go, go, go. Let's attack it. Remove it. And I'm sending, yeah, I'm sending my skirmishers down the hill and then I'm gonna attack those three REI in the back. He's got three units holding here. Slingers. And the three REI. So, not controlling the other army was a bad idea. I could have probably controlled it. It would have been better for me to just fight his whole force with my army. What happened is he split in two. And because of that, because he actually split in two. Uh, he was able to take part of my, and I was split in two, uh, he was able to take part of his, okay, we go, we broke everything. Good. Are we done? That's all running. That's a long fight. There's this this unit is not running. It it's not actually scared of anything, but it's it is leaving the battle. And there's another one right there somewhere. It's getting shot at. So we're fine. And there's three units there. Are the three units running? They are. Charge the hell in. I'm 
just gonna why am I charging in just to finish the three I rei so they're not they don't have any of those you can't retreat they're dying that's all that's all for this there's one unit facing us apparently is it this one there's another one running there This one, one of them is going to be eliminated. When does it end? There is one unit that's holding here, right in front of me. Yep. Unbelievable, but they're coming back. And this is yes a really small unit of archers that was in the in town. They're shooting the guys in the back. The yes, finally. Them. Drive them Continue battle. The put that on super fast forward. Try to wipe out as many units as we can. Oh, well, that's it. They're out. Victory. God's be uh, we lost 400 men, and the most important of it is we lost a family member. I was not supposed to lose this guy. I should have maybe moved my troops all together and tried to protect this guy, honestly. But, um, victory and honor. Uh, victory and honor, that's right, but, you know, no real freaking honor here. We lost a family member. We have this one. He's not bad. You know, he's not bad, but he's better at management than, you know, commanding armies. And I kind of need him. Now we are moving back to Lilibum. Next turn, we'll be back there. I have a little bit of money. So we'll do, right now, the construction report. So you guys don't have to watch it in the next part. Um, and just by the way, thank you for watching this campaign thank you very much uh, don't forget to click the like button if you're watching on youtube and don't forget you can come over on twitch tv slash cold meat 247 if you'd like maybe to watch me return to my you know to watch me record live wow 1500 two turns i'm not recruiting spartans that's not happening uh i think i'm gonna be putting money on the farms because i need cash let's see here what else we have We need the roads. That's a good project. Sewers, sewers. Corinth doesn't have a big temple, but doesn't need it right now. I cannot build this one. That's 800. We can do the repair, though. And the retraining. Excellent. So that will be the end of the part, guys. Um, yeah, like I said, don't forget the the like button if you're watching this on YouTube. Don't forget also your comments, as always, because I might not answer all the comments, but I read all of your comments, guys. So thank you all for watching today. If you are on Twitch TV right now, well, stay right here. We're playing more games right after that. Thank you again. Have a good one.